Hi church, my name is Catherine. I'm a prayer team leader at Audacious Church. What I'm about to share with you is something that I experienced quite recently. And my scripture today is found in Luke chapter 10, verse 1 and 2. And Luke chapter 10, verse 16 to 24. Now, there are moments in the Bible where Jesus was very intentional about what he did with his disciples. In this instance, Luke gives an account of when Jesus appointed another 72 disciples and sent them two by two in every town where and the place where he was about to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of harvest, therefore, to send more workers into his harvest field. It appears Jesus was in the habit of training disciples and sending them into the harvest field. Because this shortage of workers was a concern to him. What came as a surprise to me, and I've always missed this, is that he was very strategic in the way he sent his disciples. He sent them two by two because he probably didn't want them to be alone. And he sent them in places that he was about to visit, probably to prepare the ground and to maximize the impact of his ministry. He trained disciples for a purpose. He anointed them and sent them ahead of him. This became very significant when I unexpectedly joined a mission team visiting Rwanda earlier this year. As soon as we arrived on the mission field, what became obvious to us, it was God's heart for this nation and particularly for this village we were visiting. And it was a country that has been greatly affected by and is still recovering from the aftermath of the 1994 genocide. And it became clear to me that Jesus had purposed another level a higher dimension for us to live into, but also for this country to experience. That is why Jesus sent more disciples. He wanted to reach as many people as possible, but he wanted them to experience a new dimension of his power, a greater dimension of his glory. Brothers and sisters, could it be that today we represent that group of new disciples that Jesus is sending to places that he still wants to go to in our time? Could it be that he has filled us with his Holy Spirit so that we could take him to those places because he lives in us? What happens next in Luke's account is quite extraordinary. The 72 returned with joy. They returned very excited and said to Jesus, Lord, even demons submit to us in your name. Then Jesus revealed to them what he had done. He tells them about the authority and the power he had placed within them. Luke emphasizes the joy ex Jesus expressed when the disciples returned. There is so much to be drawn from this story, but not enough time to expand. Brothers and sisters, 
uh, let me just um, submit the following thoughts for your consideration. Firstly, there is another level of God's authority and power that we can only tap into, that we can only experience when we respond to his, his call to go. Secondly, when we become Christians, there is another level of joy we can tap into. When we take time out of our busy schedules to allow God to send us. Thirdly, we are missing something of God's miraculous power when we are not intentional about our missions. And then it simply makes Jesus very happy when we obey the Great Commission to go all around the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Finally, missions in our time are not as hard as they used to be in those days. We do not need to go very far to preach the gospel. But if we do, we have hotels, and most of the um, and most of the time, you know, we have decent places to stay and plenty to eat. So what is stopping us? What I'd like to put out to you and what I would like um, you to take away from this um, idea of missions is that sometimes when we think about missions, or going on missions alone, it can be a bit daunting for many of us. However, why don't you today decide to join one of our missions teams next year? You will have lots of fun, for sure, while making room for God to use you. And you will certainly be in the, the company of great people who usually become friends for life. So think about it. 